Bear Grylls. And I'm going to show you what it takes to get out alive from some of the most dangerous places on Earth. I've got to make it through a week of challenges in the sort of places where you wouldn't last a day without the right survival skills. I'm in South Dakota. Home to three of the most incredible wilderness areas in the US. Just to back up. The Black Hills, the Great Plains, and the barren, forbidding Badlands. This has to be one of the most precarious ridges I've ever gone down. This is a place where the weather, that is very, very close. The wildlife, again to cover, not want to mess with them. And the terrain can all be killers. The Lakota Native Americans gave the Black Hills their name. But from up here, it's a huge expanse of forest and jagged peaks as far as the eye can see. It's remote and it's wild. This place sees some of the most volatile weather on Earth, with massive temperature changes, flash floods and these violent electrical storms. There's no way the chopper's going to be able to land amongst those trees. The only place they're going to be able to put me down on the top of one of these pinnacles. It's never easy. The pilot's gonna bring me in about 15 foot above the summit. Then it's down to me. I landed in bright sunshine, but within minutes, I'm getting a taste of South Dakota's volatile weather. Just a spectacular landscape. Look at that. Quite an intimidating place to be, if you're gonna feel small anywhere. It's out here. But what worries me more at the moment is all of this. Look, that blue sky over there has definitely moved on. And heading this way is all of that stuff. Those dark thunder clouds. And this whole area is notorious for lightning and it's electrical storms. I'm right here on the top of this pinnacle. Probably the worst place in B for lightning. And that's the thunder. My priority has got to be get down. South Dakota is in Tornado Alley. 10 miles above, changes in the direction of the jet stream can turn the weather here fast. I'm at the highest point for miles, and if I don't get off this rock, I'll become a human lightning conductor. This isn't looking very clever either. Let's try this way. This Black Hills granite is great for climbing when it's dry, but once the storm hits, it becomes lethal. This is what I mean by changeable weather. Look, all of this rock that was bone dry earlier is now like running wet. <laughs> Oh, I'm only just about of this in time. Look at the amount of water coming down this now. 200 foot below the pinnacle, the Black Hills terrain is still tough going, steep and slippery. In just a few hours, the Black Hills can throw four seasons of weather at you. The temperature once changed 20 degrees in just two minutes, 